Hello and welcome to Moster Does the Crossword. This is Moster, um, and this episode will be the review for the New York Times crossword uh, from Friday, September 17th, 2021. Uh, In the new version of this, I am recording, ideally, I almost didn't today, two uh, straight through shots. I just finished the puzzle, now I'm doing the review. And the idea is that they will both go up shortly. It's always nice for me to go to bed after I finish the puzzle. So this is all working fairly well together. Um, Yeah, so the other version is the talk through, which is you listening to me talk to myself slash you through the entire puzzle. This is the review where you listen to me talk about specific items that I found that I thought were interesting or annoying or whatever uh so yeah that's the spiel so thank you once again for coming along let's see what we've got here um yeah this one in general was good there were a few that i didn't love like this i did the button mashing on this because i have no idea what a t-chin is and sebastian stan is not somebody that i believe i've heard of so the class it qualifies and again by the time I did the button mash, everything else was right, so there wasn't a lot of back and forth. Although, if you watch the other video, there was a little back and forth at the end in this word. But, you know, it's... I'm definitely still allowing it, obviously. Um, so, as a puzzle itself, again, I liked it. There were just a couple of things here that I didn't know personally that I had to work through. Um, I think most of them are in the screenshots. So let's jump over there and then we can uh, come back and see if I have anything else that I think you might be interested in. Okay, so yeah, right off the bat here, uh, actually I did end up coming back by a few because it was silly of me, but animated film whose protagonist is a construction worker is the Lego movie. Um, Quinceañeras is right. I pulled this one out because we see it a lot in recent times I've seen various versions of right either in the clue or the the answer so I wanted to just note that for that kind of a context uh, instruments for Anapura Devi and Anusha Shankar this was a guess based on the last name of Shankar uh, that it was a sitar and that turned out to be correct I paused on this one street smarts a because it makes me think of john mulaney and me because it's a good thing for people to have think on your feet know what the hell's going on around you etc etc um mix of many different cultures melting pot i was happy with this because i only had one thing that changed which was quakes on the crosses and that makes me fairly happy for a for a Friday. Um, and Melting Pot is a pretty, you know, I don't want to say straightforward, but it fits in well with um, the general leftyish nature of this whole thing. Uh, online Images and Avatar, this is another one that you might not think of right away, although it's getting more and more common. Destruction marked a turning point in World War One. Lusitania. I had this spelled correctly here. I did fuck around with the I a little bit um, as I was trying to work up that teachings thing. Um, but yeah, I knew this and it ended up being fairly straightforward. Uh, largest U.S. Union. I think I had AFL here because um, they've been talking a lot about AFL CIO lately. Um, actually, not lately. They talk about AFL CIO off and on since I've been doing this. But it's the NEA, which is the teachers, and it frustrates me that it's the largest union and we still don't pay our teachers nearly enough fucking money. Um, laid, surrounded and attacked is Laid Siege. This is another one that's just a long one, you know, that comes up. And it's a good thing to know in general, I think, anyway. And um, type of help to avoid repetitive strain injury, uh, wrist pad wrist rest whatever same general concept but it's about positioning your hands more than actually putting them on something 
Uh, group whose name means people of the still water, waters that are never still around, which is exactly the opposite. Mohicans. You know, I kind of got this on enough downs. I knew it was some kind of a... some kind of an aboriginal somewhere, but was it here or somewhere in Africa or who the fuck knows? But yes, it was Mohicans after all that nonsense. Um, and jam-packed wall to wall. That made sense to me as well. Just another big long one that you can chunk in there and make the grid fit out nicely. Um, it sticks out in a dance studio, 2-2. Two, two. Maybe I could have thought of this a little bit sooner, but whatever. Because uh, I had like point and bar stuck in my head. Um, but those are both five letters. Actually, point is six letters. Um, Pentagon Big Wig Brass Hat. Uh, which, yeah, is exactly what it sounds like. Um, I started with general or secretary, but neither of them fit. I got a couple of the crosses, and then we came back and figured it out. Musicians are often on it. Tour. I call this one out because I had a couple of other things here that were wrong, like beat or whatever. But tour makes a lot of sense, uh, especially for a crossword. Composes oneself, steadies oneself. Just want to... Yeah, note for interest. And the team whose song, Super Bowl Shuffle under Grammy nomination, hooray. Uh, yeah, I needed a lot to get this because I don't know very much football. But I guess I didn't need too much because I got a fair amount of it on the bottom right. But yeah, Chicago Bears. is. Since it's one of the football teams I know about, I'm going to say that it's one of the more known football teams because I don't know shit about football. Uh, American football, anyway. Short crust pastry fillings, treacles. This one took me a little bit of time. I thought it was something having to do with fruit. Um, this also seems to me to be based very heavily in the fact that we have Bake Off in America now. And they love treacle tarts and things like that. Uh, breaks off, detaches. Yeah, just makes sense. Uh, glitter bombs took me a little bit to get. But, yeah. I like it there. Showers with sparkles. Um, and this took me a little bit of time to figure out the Ethiopian emperor. It's Rasta is the people and uh, Selassie. And I know that Halle Selassie was in something recently and it might have actually cost me the puzzle or came very close. But that's what that is. Uh, so keep that one in mind. This one I liked a lot. This is a like... In my estimation, you get a fucking gold star. Whoever wrote this clue, uh, ground shaking stuff, pepper. It's ground shaking stuff, so it's ground pepper. And I had quake here and all kinds of other things, but that is just nice and elegant. And I liked it a lot. Um, and then Sharper Image Company. Uh, this one, it really wasn't making a lot of sense um, because I wasn't looking for an abbreviation at first, but it's PR. Agents are the people who do your image. And then the last one that I... This is the last typo that I fixed here. Uh, portmanteau for a messenger bag was Merce. I had um, Airy there. I had a T there because T and R are next to each other on the keyboard. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to go back to the actual puzzle because I think I covered everything that I really wanted to here. Um... Again, not the most happiness friendliness about the button mashing, but I never would have gotten Stanley Stat, so what the fuck ever, whatever the hell person's name is. Um, but yeah, other than that, again, good puzzle. Difficult, nice big fat words stuck next to each other, making me think about what's going to actually be right in the end. Um, and yeah. So, that's it for this one. Thank you again for hanging around in my brain for a little while. And I hope you hear from me soon, and I wish you a peaceful journey.